Hey Pisces, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. This is your reading. This reading is for anyone with Pisces placements or anyone else who's guided to see the Pisces reading for whatever reason they've been guided here. This reading could resonate right now or later on down the line. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good for Pisces. What do we need to know? What are the messages for any? Okay, that's way too many. Way too many. Okay, hold on guys. We got tons and tons here. Okay, can we just have one or two at a time for Pisces, please? One or two at a time. This reading is for anyone with Pisces placements or anyone else that's guided. Present power. Somebody else had that in the same spot. Was it? It was way, way long time ago. I don't remember who it was. Give me a little bit more information here. Pisces reading. Okay, great achievement and loss. All right, so somebody is going to, somebody's getting over something is what they're doing. So there's something happening. And at the bottom, you have uh, the spirit card of family, friends, and guides. So this tells me you're being guided. So did you, okay, so when I look at this, I see present power and I see a lot of guidance. These are both event cards here. Great achievement and loss. I feel like you're overcoming, this is an event in your life another event that was difficult so but you're doing it because you're standing in a state of consciousness of present power and you have uh, angelic help some kind of family friends and guides on the other side helping you get past and over this okay so let's find out what it is this is a big deal because it's like a graduation it's like finally you got through it whatever it was it was very difficult all right let's find out Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good? What do we need to know about this reading for Pisces? Anyone with Pisces placements or anyone else who's guided to see the Pisces reading for whatever reason they've been guided here? Pisces, what do we need to know? What are the messages? Pisces reading for anyone who's guided, whenever they're guided. What do we need to know about it? What are the messages? Pisces reading. Pisces reading for anyone who's guided whenever they're guided. All right. One more shuffle, guys. This is the Crystal Vision deck. All right. Crystal Vision deck is what we're starting with with the tarot, and we're going to also be clarifying with Wheel of the Year. Also, this was Quantum Oracle. I forgot to say that before I started. Okay, so let's talk about um, present power, great achievement, loss, family, friends, and guides. What do we need to know about this? What are the most important? So family, friends, and guides is a spirit card. Don't forget that. So this doesn't have to do with the people in this lifetime. This is like guidance from above. All right. What do we need to know? Pisces reading for anyone who's guided to see it whenever they're guided to see it and resonates with it. Okay. Wow, beautiful. The High Priestess. That's your energy as a Pisces. Tell me more, please. So this is your connection to spirit. Really, you are so connected. All right, let's see what we got here. One and two. Whoa, oh, I didn't realize there were so many here, but I'll take them since I already saw them. All right, so uh, lots of energy coming through here. You've got um, Empress reversed. You also have uh, the King of Cups and you have the Knight of Wands. You also have up top there right next to the High Priestess, the Five of Swords reversed. You're definitely getting past a difficult time. So the difficult time has something to do with the Five of Swords right there in reverse. Give me a little more, one more card here, please, for Pisces or whoever's guided to see this reading. So you could have went through a very difficult uh, situation with either another water sign or um wow absolutely look at this so you're getting at least we're going to get you past all these fives all right so the loss is like the same kind of energy as the five of cups for me and now you have the five of swords here reversed and you have the five of pentacles so what i really feel is that you feel really left out in the cold here in a situation I will say the Empress reverse could be a mother, could be a mother figure. You could have literally lost your mother. And I apologize that it's coming through and my sympathies to those of you who have. 
this could have been like really like just so heartbreaking for you it was a loss you felt you know um like you were filled with anxiety sometimes i see the five of swords as anxiety um and felt really you know abandoned you know like i can't believe i lost my mother uh, it's very possible this could be a grandmother, an aunt, or a friend, or anyone that's close to you. This could be your wife, your baby's mother, your, um, this could just be someone very close to you. It could be an ex, uh, whoever it is. I see you coming through here as the King of Cups, feeling this pain of something that happened to you. Um, I just want to look in the past here and see what's going on. Yes, yeah, so you have a new cycle coming in, no doubt about it. New cycle with the wheel. So you have the wheel of fortune coming in, four cups in a situation where you've had a lot of disappointment, but we're letting that go. The new beginning right there, Ace of Pentacles, is coming in, and you are sitting here observing how to get to it. Uh, the Hermit is shining the light on the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles is reversed right now but only because the wheel just turned something's just beginning for you in a new it's like a new uh cycle in your life after like again after you've suffered a loss so this new cycle includes you getting over something that has been painful or at least getting past it to a point where you can allow the new cycle in and this is going to feel like such a big achievement because it took a lot of strength to get to it and a lot of guidance right to get to this point where you could now knight of wands move forward in a situation that kept you in these fives 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 everywhere this was a difficult time even though this doesn't say a five it's that same energy of the five of cups all right let's get into it spirit and angels anyone for the highest good what do we need to know here about this pisces reading this reading is for anyone who's guided to see it whenever they're guided to see it what do we need to know about it what are the messages you could have even gone through divorce i mean anything's possible here it's something where you felt lost and it took strength for you to get through it okay what do we need to know here what are the most important messages we have for the people who need them the most Pisces reading for anyone who's guided whenever they're guided one more shuffle Pisces reading all right let's do it so let's take a look at um the five of swords reversed what do we need to know five of swords in the reverse well the sun reflection so you're reflecting on something that was really painful for you um, I feel like it had something to do with this Empress. Um, I'm going to take a look at the Empress reverse. Tell me more about this Empress reversed. What do we need to know about it? I also feel like this is whatever this painful thing is, is you are healing. This is a very healing card. The sun, it also shows something clearing up. Tell me about the Empress reverse here. What do we need to know? Pisces reading Empress reverse. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Look really nice so you're able now to leave the emotional baggage behind you that happened here with this person and you're clearly seeing something again clarity coming in reflection coming in you've dug deep for this you've really gone within and you feel really good about it nine of cups this is what you needed you needed to feel better because the emotions were so heavy you're releasing the emotions you're able now to move forward and we have the proof of that right here with the Knight of Wands right next to it. Let's look at the Knight of Wands. What do we need to know, Knight of Wands? Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. It's been a slow go. So you've gone from Knight of Pentacles now to Knight of Wands. So you had to take almost like baby steps here to get you to a point where you could progress here. Queen of Cups at the bottom, King of Cups right there. This is, I don't care what gender you are, this is the same energy for both masculine and feminine here but you're moving forward now um after needing this time of like i said a break ten of pentacles came out as well it just kind of flew out of the deck i'm going to put it back i wasn't even asking a question but just so you know all right so let's look at the five of pentacles here what about the five of pentacles anything we should know about the five of pentacles here pisces reading 
the sword of truth clarity coming in the king of swords this could actually be your energy especially if you're a pisces aquarius cusper and it's funny because the aquarius reading was all about an aquarius with a pisces cusp so i mean that came through very strongly but i really feel as though this is you this clarity that you're getting clarity 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 needing clarity and going within to get this clarity it's everywhere Communi um, communicating with spirit family friends and guides the spirit card you have been digging deep to get this this is a clarity card for me as well and it has something to do with that five of swords that you were in that you're coming out of because that has clarity on top of it as well and whatever it is helps you dump a bunch of burdens the ten of wands it's like this clarity seven of seven of cups look at the clarity is going to bring a transformation for you absolutely let's get a little bit more information here um i want more information on the five of pentacles with the king of swords is there anything else we need to know five of pentacles here with this king of swords pisces reading for anyone who's guided yeah it came right back out i can't even believe it came right back out all right so this is really you understanding something more about a difficult time in your life something that was stressful tell me about the high priestess let's get a quick one on the high priestess she's right here with the hermit as well another ditto card high priestess again all your cards are coming out ditto ditto same 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 uh, you got hermit hermit high priestess high priestess You've got the Lost card and all these fives that are really dittoing each other. Five of Swords twice. King of Swords, was he? I don't know why I thought he came out twice. Anyway, let's get another one. What else do we need to know here on the High Priestess? I'd like to get another card on her. She's here with the Hermit. Yeah, another five five of wands and a decision with the two of pentacles to release the devil devil reversed done all right so the devil is something that held you back and we have the proof of that with the death card here so we have stuck energy like i'm not budging now remember this has been a very slow forward movement um it all comes from some kind of tower that happened and you got stuck or you got caught up in something could it have been with another person absolutely you got a lot of scorpio coming through here and you have capricorn here as well um anything obviously could have happened here that could have um caused you to feel stuck you could have been being bullied you could have been gaslit you could have been stuck in a bunch of drama you could have um you know went through something here that um uh, has really held you back from your new beginnings uh, whatever it is it kept you in all these fives fives are everywhere but the good news about this is the fives are showing up in reverse and um, some of them are still in the upright some of them are in reverse this just shows me that you're getting ready to release something you're getting ready to um you know we go from this five of pentacles in the upright to the five of swords reversed five of swords reversed you also have five of wands over here but it's a decision so this tells me that you have a decision and everywhere i look you do have a decision to make so i feel like you have a decision to make that's going to release this energy that you've been you've been stuck in and it has to do with the tower that came down in your life whatever this loss was okay wasn't it back here as well no okay i don't know why i thought it was but this is all about to change when that wheel turns you're going to have new opportunity to experience something way better and i think you're going to take that opportunity because you're going to leave something that was emotionally draining behind and you're going to graduate from the eight of cups and you're going to walk into the nine of cups this is wish fulfillment this is a way happier place to be something very happy takes you out of these fives and brings you into a and you're in a way more enlightened state everywhere i look you're enlightened um and you release whatever this is that was a tower in your life that held you hostage done all right i want to get a quick peek at the king of cups king of cups please so when i see all this high priestess energy that's yours with the drama of the five of wands or the the fight of the five of wands and then i see the two pentacles it just leads me to know that you pisces are going to make this decision this is your decision to make and the moon's at the bottom as well another pisces card of enlightenment all right it's in reverse so we're seeing it like the sun shining bright tell me about the king of cups here what do we need to know king of cups 
Pisces reading for anyone who's guided to see it. Yeah, absolutely. Look at the Ace of Pentacles reversed and the Ace of Wands in the upright. Oh my gosh, with the Ace of Swords. And the full riding the Wheel of Fortune. What on earth? Look at this. This is all about you and a new beginning. Wow. I don't think I've ever had this happen before. <laughs> Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords, and the Fool all sitting at the bottom of your deck. And all of it comes from you accepting some kind of clear messages. I feel like you're getting them. They're coming in. There it is, the Hermit. And look how the Hermit is on this Ace of Swords where you were not clear on something before. I feel like this clarity is about to come in for you and it's going to be the thing that turns that wheel. This is reiterating it again, that this wheel is going to turn when you receive this clarity and make a decision about something. And look, it's about the Ace of Pentacles. Do I want this new beginning? And you're going to be like, yes, I do. I do. You're going to want it when you see it clearly. I'm not sure what this is, but look at it all in the upright. Once you've achieved the sense of clarity, it's Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, not once, but twice. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's the wheel twice and the fool. And it all stems from something that you're going to see. We started with clarity and in the reading, you're receiving clarity everywhere. High priestess, the sun, the um, hermit in the reverse, which is the way we receive his clarity and the king of swords. Clarity, 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 clarity. And it's all for you, Pisces. All of it brings in this beautiful new energy. And it is the thing that helps you release the sense of loss that you've been feeling and allows you to graduate from a difficult cycle using your present power of clarity that you're getting from whatever enlightenment you're getting here. It's a big event. It's like a graduation. Look at it. It's like you graduating a difficult cycle. It is all happening like right here and now. Family, friends, and guides, you're being guided the whole way through. Listen listening to your intuition as you're in all this enlightenment energy wow look at it all look at it all the hermit three times one two and three the high priestess twice with your family friends and guide spirit card amazing energy guys really whoa talk about enlightenment talk about it let's grab you a couple of angel cards on the way out good luck with this pisces i'd love to know if this resonates with you guys, if you got the messages you were meant to get out of this, it's all about you. And it's all about something beautiful spirits trying to send into you all these aces. My God, it's mind blowing. Angels, what do we need to know here for Pisces or anyone else who's guided to see this reading? Courage again. Look, present power and courage. Two more, please education faith wow this is big 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 all right so the courage card this is all about you your decision comes there's all about clarity and decision making and it all takes your strength and courage and i think you're gonna just you're doing it you're doing it because you're gonna achieve something openness also opening up also being clear about your intentions making firm decisions having faith making bold moves really nice beautiful and education so that means to me that there was something to learn in all this okay what held you back what was it what was your oh i wish it was still at the bottom it's not at the bottom anymore but what was your devil energy what what held you back what didn't allow you to jump into this beautiful energy sooner something held you back i feel like it was um i feel like you went through something difficult and then kind of got stuck Anyway, I hope you guys will tell me what's going on here or at least let me know, yes, I got the message because it, that's what really means the most to me is that you guys get the messages that I put out there that are meant for you, that you that spirit contacted you through my reading. This is like so, so important for me to know you are getting your important messages. Uh, anyway, guys, I hope that this made sense to someone um, and I hope that you guys will um, also like the video. It helps the channel be the channel that it is and do videos every single day. So I appreciate you guys for doing that for me in return. Also, um, don't forget your monthly reading is going to be up in the left hand corner here if you haven't seen it yet. 
I'm going to attach it to the end of this reading so that it's right there for you to click on. Don't forget to watch the other signs. Any one of these readings could resonate with you. They're for anyone who's guided. All right, guys, have a good week. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much. Bye.